welcome to my show. We're back at Berman show with the cooler, my colossal cooler that I pull funny improvisational, or at least I think funny improvisational things out of as I'm talking to my different celebrity guests. And I have a crazy stocked show today. I am so excited. I have one of my good friends who works at Viacom, uh, Cheryl Family, and I know she's very excited to be here today, and it was so nice of her to come. I also have from The Lion King, Chantel Riley, who plays Nyla, and I am so excited, you know me, to talk to her, and I'm assuming I might ask her to do a little singing. Um, she has to get back to her show today, so this is like super exciting that she stopped by. Um, so we're gonna probably talk to her first. But before I get to Chantel, I also have two other Broadway actors, their husband and wife, Barrett Martin, and Megan, I hope I say your name correctly, Sir uh, Sikora. Close, okay. <laughs> Um, so in any case, and I have a special treat for all of, actually for all of my guests, and something kind of fun for the viewers, I guess, too. I don't know, maybe they'll think it's fun. Um, oh, and there's a gentleman out there, you could tell him to just come on in. Sir, come in, it's okay. Have a seat. Um, it's my dad, you guys, so. He likes, uh, you know, occasionally stop by and be in the audience. But, um, and okay, anyway, so here's my first guest today, Chantel Riley. Woo! <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey. How are you? Thank, Thank you. you so much Thanks for, for having me. This is such a treat for me <laughs> that so I am far. doing, uh, it's actually like Broadway, the cooler on Broadway, I guess. Yes. Kind of say for today. So I love your top. <laughs> Thank you. That is very, very sparkly. That is very very cool. <laughs> it says bonjour. So tell me, you are Nyla, and you're going. You. It was so great that you were able to stop by before you go on today. Yes. So what? Um. Oh, oh they're telling I think to move this way. You. Okay. Okay. Go. Got it. Got it. Ready. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. Here we're good now. <laughs> Um, so it's so exciting of you, I know I'm repeating myself, for you to stop by, but yeah. uh, tell me about being Nyla and, yeah. and what it's like and how you got, how do you get there to that kind of... Uh, well, I'm originally from Toronto okay. and uh, what Disney Theatrical does normally is they do auditions all over the world right? and just to kind of see where they want to place people because we have like over 10 companies running right now. And so luckily for me, they had an audition that was going on in Toronto and a friend of mine told me about it and right. it was an open casting call. I was like, okay, might as well just take the plunge and see what happens. I've never acted before and this right. was like my first audition that wow. I've, ever, I've ever done. So I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. I mean, what I got to lose? At the time I was working as an insurance adjuster. So like, oh, that is hysterical. just like that nine to five kind of job and got to the point where I was like, you know what, God, this has to change because this is not my life. Right. So how did you ever, someone who's never done any acting, how did you ever decide like, Oh, you know what? My friend just told me there's no open casting. I'm just gonna show up for a musical. Well, audition. I just I used to sing a lot when when I was in church. Okay. And, um, I did like church plays for Christmas and okay. you know, and Easter and stuff. And so I guess she saw something in me and said, you know, you should just give it a shot and see what happens. And right. so I remember looking for a friend that has a camera, just take take like a headshot of me in like black and white, so I right. could print it off and just make some kind of resume. Right. Piece something together, make it look like I did something. And uh, I got to the audition, I got to the final callback, and then a couple months later I was asked to go to Germany to do the show there as Nala. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> and I've been saying her, the name of your character incorrectly, Nala. Nala, yeah. Yeah, I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're not the only one, girl. Everybody called Nyla, Nayla. They be calling it all kinds of things. <laughs> it doesn't matter how often I write your the name down of the character. And by the way, I called my kids before the show today, and I go, "Can you tell me the story of Lion King?" And who? And I'm interviewing Nyla, and my daughter's like, "That's not her name." And it's like, Nyla, mom. Right? How do you not know that? <laughs> So, okay, so that might be, you know, I'm more of like the the uh, Legally Blonde or the, I don't know, South Pacific goer, Broadway nice. goer. Yes. Um, yes. I, but in any case, so I, I haven't quite gotten to Lion King yet. But I think I've actually seen the movie. Yes. So I hope so. Yes, I have. I, I feel like everyone's at least ago. seen it at least one yes. time a million years ago. Yes. But yes. So are you, is your character the character that, that, your best friends from growing up with Simba, yes. and you like to be very adventuresome and go yes. into the different 
and get Simba to go join you in all your adventures. Yeah, so Simba, actually, when they're younger, you know, he uh, tempts Nala to go to this forbidden place called the Elephant Graveyard. Right. That his father, Mufasa, warned him about not going to. Okay. Um, and so they go, and they run away, and they discover the Elephant Graveyard, and then they run into some hyenas and get right. into a lot of trouble, and Mufasa steps in and saves the day. Um, and so, like, yeah, they grew up together, they're best friends, and then it gets to a point where... There's a stampede that happens, and Mufasa goes to save Simba, and right. doesn't really quite make it. Right. Rest in peace, Mufasa. <laughs> and uh, yeah, oh, so and then he runs away. Cries yeah, and it's okay. a sad scene, and right. a lot of people crying in the audience too. So, so um, which then leads me to get to: Can you do like a? I I know you've been in other shows. I think you were telling me, and you like to sing some other songs. But I I gotta hear like one like good. La song line from The Lion King. Okay, do you want to hear it in German or do you want to hear it in English? Oh, maybe German would be okay. fine. Okay. So gonna... <coughs> have to get ready. See, I, <laughs> I, I, I can't even tell them to play it, so. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, go So ahead. I'll be singing um, a song called Shadowland, which is in the show. It's okay. Nala's solo song. We'll be singing the first verse, the first line in German. So okay. okay. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Schattenland, kahl und geschunden, geliebtes Land, vernarbt und krank. Das Flussbett leer, das Gras gestorben, auch ich muss fort, muss fort von hier. Oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Sit down, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Hi, I'm the person who always stands up at a show and claps. I'm like bawling in every show, you. Thank crying you. and clapping and being like, how are those people so talented? Oh, thank you so much. And I guess you know how to dance also. but Well, you got to do a little shucking and driving, some two-stepping going on uh -huh. in that show, at least for um, for that show. It's very active. It's right. very physical. So I'm either jumping on stage or I'm jumping off stage. Right. It's a Simonala fight. It's very, very physical. So... Yeah, definitely so, some moving around. Going so on. now that you have like the theater acting bug, clearly because you're yeah. a working <laughs> actor, what what kind of uh, work would you look for when the Lion King show would end? Like, ha how would you go about the business? What was great with this is that I mean, it could open up opportunities elsewhere. I mean, as right. an actor, you could do theater, you could do film, you could do television, right. you could get into directing, writing, producing. You know what I mean? It just kind of opens up right. the landscape for us more. Um, so I actually had a chance to be a part of the film called Race. It was a Jesse Owens story that just came okay. out in February. Oh, wow. Yeah, so okay, I played yes. uh, Quinsella Nickerson there. That's and right. so got a taste of the whole film on set That's life, crazy. which was really cool. And so I'm, I'm actually working towards getting into the film aspect as right. well, too, and working with directors and producers to do some indie films and also to do some more features as well. That's amazing. <laughs> so it really, like, it's gr uh, your you know, career's really taken off. That's awesome. <laughs> it's happening. Yes. Look out! It's happening. I'm coming for you. <laughs> so what else, What can you tell me about like behind the scenes at a Broadway show? There's a lot going on. I mean, we have a lot of dressers, we have a lot of stagehands, right. and it's a lot of backstage choreography. Um, but the thing with theater is so much fun is that it's live. Mm -hmm. So like you just never know what's going to happen. Right. Whether you miss your cue or you don't have any sound right. or you fall on stage, which has happened to me a couple oh times. Oh my god, you fell? Oh my gosh. I what was happened? doing a fight the fight scene uh -huh. and my leg got caught in Simba's tail. That's what happens when you play a lion or an animal on stage. You got <laughs> tails to play with. And so my leg got caught in his tail and we both just went boom we crashed oh, down man. he was trying to get my foot out i was right. trying to get off stage so we're pretty much in like right. missionary position like scooting <laughs> off the stage and then my mask fell off and it was right. just a big mess the curtain slowly finally comes in right and they make the announcement attention ladies and gentlemen the technical difficulties we'll be right back and all oh, that kind of hysterical. stuff it is the funniest thing like i never take that stuff really seriously and make right. it ruin my day or my performance. So right. I just well, it's, like it sounds like there are things that just could happen. So you can't, Yeah, I mean, anything. Yeah, exactly. Anything could happen. Um, so today we, uh, we're going to kind of cut it short because we have a lot of guests. Yes. And we have to, and I know you've got to get to your <laughs> yes. show. More, Two the shows most today. importantly, I know, like, gotta get to work. <laughs> like, Greg, I gotta leave here. But what? When? Uh, when can people see you? Where? What theater is the, is the Lion King playing at? So Lion King is playing at the Minskoff Theater. Okay. Um, it's 200 West 45th Street, and uh, we do eight shows. So it's eight shows a week. That's awesome. Uh, Tuesday to Sundays. 
can see us there. Okay. <laughs> and anywhere else, any other social media aside from the Lion King that you want anyone to follow you at or yeah, know Yeah, you about? can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And my handle is Chantel underscore Riley. And you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash C Camille Riley. Chantel, before you go, yeah? I have to give you one of my cooler cookies out of oh. my makes. I know you might not be able to eat it. Watch me. Because you're <laughs> but it's chocolate hey, covered I'm so hungry. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much. That was Thanks awesome. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming by. Thank and you. Have a good show today. Or Thank two you. Good shows, two rather. shows. Two shows. Two okay. shows. <laughs> have All a right, good time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, so my next guest is a old friend of mine who has a fabulous career and who works at Viacom, uh, Cheryl Family. Come on down. Woo! Hi. Hi. How, how are, are you? you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. So I, I have to just tell all my viewers, I always called you when we used to work together, my family friend. Mm -hmm. But um, only because that's, that's just because of your yeah. last name. Um, so one of the surprises I have for Cheryl today um, is in the cooler, and some of you might have followed me on social media, so you might kind of already know, but for anyone who's just watching, um, let's see if you can figure out what my, uh-oh, <laughs> they might kill me here at the studio, what, why I have ice falling all over the place. Um, okay, it's because... Uh, Hi, Plush Bartending. How are you? I am so excited to have you guys here today. This is Lindsay. She's been our bartender for the day. And Lindsay, um, Cheryl, you'll be happy to hear this, is going to mix us a drink. So Exciting. we have a signature drink. Lindsay, what, um, what is it called that it's we're... It's called Plush and Pain. Plush and Pain. Okay, and what's in it? So we have four parts champagne, Yeah. two parts mango liqueur, okay. two parts lime juice, and a splash of grenadine. Okay, so uh, Cheryl, does that sound good? That sounds awesome. Sounds good to me too. It's the story of your life, Rebecca. <laughs> Flash and pain. <laughs> right, exactly. It is. Okay, I lost all that, all the other ice, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. <laughs> what happened? Oh, oh, did it pop all over the place? So I'm going to really have to clean this studio up. These guys are going to kill me here. Okay. So Cheryl, um, yeah. how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, okay, so Lindsay, whenever uh, you're ready, you can just bring us our drinks. Awesome. We're happy to have them. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks so much to Plush Bartending. Um, so Cheryl, so you head up Viacom Catalyst. Mm -hmm. Can you just, because you and I worked together a zillion years ago, so yeah. I'd love to like catch up career-wise on where you are sure. and what you do there. Yeah, so Viacom Catalyst, um, we really function like an in-house ad agency. And so we're made up of all sorts of creative people. So right. writers, brand strategists, designers, you know, project managers, production, video producers. And really our mission is just how do we push Viacom's business forward using creativity, which is, right. it's unique. And I think one of the reasons I've been there as long as I have is that Viacom really does believe in creativity, right. which I love. Right. Um, and so, you know, I think a lot of companies say they want creativity, but when it comes down to it, it's hard because it's a, taking a risk and right. you know and Viacom really does appreciate it and I think um, you know it's really an opportunity to work with great brands and then say okay how can we make this even better right so it's fun that's really fun and the what are the brands that you work with so Viacom owns a whole bunch <laughs> I'm of different really brands. putting you no. on the spot now <laughs> no so so Viacom owns um, MTV uh -huh. VH1 Nickelodeon um, TV land CMT Comedy Central um, you know, a host of other TV brands. I know I'm leaving people out, and Paramount Pictures and BET Network. So it's wow. it's a good cross section, you know, of right. pop culture and media and a, a lot of brands. And there's always something interesting going on, which makes it fun. So one of the things I notice about uh, your <laughs> career is that you seem to go to some really good places for work. Mm -hmm. So anywhere that you want to share that you've been in the recently that uh, for that work. Yeah, like something that's kind of creative, you know. Yeah, you so... Have, you have some good stuff that you post. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I do get to travel. I mean, most recently, I go to L.A. a lot. Okay. And it's nice. Oh, thank Ooh, you. Oh, thank you. The plush and... <laughs> plush and plush pain. Plush and pain. That is really pretty <laughs> funny. Okay, cheers. cheers. You're totally interrupting us. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you. Welcome. Yum. Delicious. Wow, that's really good. Okay. Yum. Um, well, it looks a little tropical. So, LA. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so it's fun because I have a lot of friends out there, you know, both from working and from college. And, you know, so it makes it nice to go out there and right. see people. And I, I really feel like in the last few years, L.A.'s restaurant scene has really exploded and there's a lot of you know really? new places yeah so how it's perfect fun to, go. to talk about that on the cooler i know so maybe um you'll tell me some restaurant names and i can post them on my yeah for sure on my website Definitely. okay yeah, cool it's fun definitely fun okay this is way better than i was thinking no i'm kidding <laughs> no it's really good and uh thank you lindsay okay so cheryl i have something kind of well actually before I get to it, no, 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 I'm going to do it first. Okay, right. here we should go. Should I be scared? You should be scared. I'm going to take us a little bit down a trip on okay. memory lane. All right. Okay, this here we go. This is special effects, like doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, right, Exactly. <laughs> okay, so I really dug through mm -hmm. what, when Cheryl and I used to work together, it was a many, many moons ago, and I, um just found some funny things. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can do a close up on this, but, uh, and Cheryl, I actually don't know if you were at this event. This event was the election uh, when we MTV did a party for the Clinton inauguration. Did you go to that? So I, w I don't did think I was. Did you go to that? I don't think I was at that party, but I was at Bill Clinton's original Choose or Lose forum in LA when oh. that was really the first time that with Choose or Lose was out there and the major candidates were appearing on it. Okay, you really put me way ahead of where I wanted to be. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I think I got one of those. I'm sorry. Do I have one of those? I oh, brought... here we go. Oh. Choose or Lose. Wow, see? Okay, so that was really. Very funny, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got that. Wait. That was the famous one where they asked Bill Clinton if he wore boxers or briefs. Oh. Okay. That was, like, a big thing. Okay, so that was very, <laughs> the whole thing was very funny. This whole, and I remember being at, at the inaugural ball. And In like, Washington, there yeah. There was every, every like, A-list celebrity. It was incredible. And my job was that I had to stand and, like, look at their past to see if they could stand on this riser. It was like Barbara Streisand. Yeah. I was crazy. It was, um, that was an incredible, yeah. incredible party and night. And it really did feel like that was the center of the universe that night because right. everyone was there who was anyone, right. including the newly elected president right. and his family. And no, that was special. Yeah, that was really, really neat. And now I have something, okay, something really funny. Um, these are, I don't even know what these events were that we were at together, but I know one year we were at the Video Music Awards together, mm -hmm. and you gave Scott a ride or picked him up or took him from the hotel. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. He Anytime. Says hello. hello. <laughs> Anytime. And then, wait, I have another, I have some, two other really good ones in here, I think. Okay. That and, do I? Yes. Okay. So Cheryl, this I thought was a really great one when we did the launch of the European Music Awards. Mm -hmm. So there was a Aerosmith. So this was in Berlin at the Brandenburg yeah, Gate, the right? The wall had recently fallen down, probably like two years, a few years prior. Right. And it was still what you think of as East Germany. Right. Yeah, that was, that was fascinating. crazy, right? Yeah. That was pretty unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And you and I went out to some dinners where I feel like the only thing we ever ate was uh, uh, schnitzel. schnitzel. That was it. <laughs> like every restaurant, we had the same thing. Yeah. It was like we didn't know other food existed. Yes, yeah. Then I think we, I had an Aerosmith. We did an uh, an Aerosmith party. Okay, so this one we did a private party for like sixty people in honor of Aerosmith. Well, it was Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. So remind so, me. Thank you. So, <laughs> Uh, the MTV Europe Music Awards, uh, when they first started, every year were on Thanksgiving. And so for those of us who worked on it, we would miss Thanksgiving here right. in the States because we went to Europe to, okay. to work on this. And so the night before the awards, they would always have a Thanksgiving dinner for, like you said, a small group of people. Right. And this was the first one. And so we had Thanksgiving dinner with Aerosmith, which so I always funny. think is so funny. Um, Thank you for refreshing that memory because all I was doing was running, helping to run those events, and I couldn't remember. All I knew is we were having a party four hours. Yeah, ago. I it was Thanksgiving. The, the why? And I, <laughs> I talked. I was seated next to one of the members of Aerosmith, I believe their bassist, and um, I talked the poor guy's ear off because I was in the middle of writing my thesis for grad school, oh and I was God. so all consumed, and I was telling him all about it, and he was so lovely because I'm sure he didn't care at all. But right. that was nice. Cheryl, you're just such a. Student. 
student. I, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this is this is really going to bring you back. When Cheryl and I first met, her job was doing an in-house newspaper at MTV Networks mm -hmm. called The Pages. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I have no idea why, but I am totally crazy because I have you this. I saved this. This is part of Cheryl's newspaper, so this has got to be from like 20 some odd years ago. Mm -hmm. And this is the line I underlined. Oh no. What be and of course it's all about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. What baby-faced 20-something special events manager was carded when she ordered white wine on a recent United Airlines flight? <laughs> so the joke is we're having a drink right now, and I still get carded to this day. You and should I, be thankful. <laughs> That is a good thing. And I am old, That's so a good it thing. is funny. But I thought you'd appreciate that. Still have these. You know, we found all the old ones okay. in books, so we okay. have them. But yeah, we the pages went away a long time ago. So I thought you would just like that I little love trip it. down memory lane. I love it. And do you have any? I feel like you might have a story for me, or no? We we might have discussed it already. Oh, the Aerosmith. I was thinking about because you know when you asked me to come on, I was thinking about sort of the, the right. good old days. And right. I was like oh, all, all the fun that we had. It's good. <laughs> Those are good times. It's funny that I still have that. Okay, so um, my other thing I want to talk to you about. You're a mom. You're married, mm -hmm. and you have two kids. Yes. What what is it like having you know this big career and raising a family? Because I think that like I feel like a lot of my viewers are are moms, and it's interesting to hear about that. Um, yeah. Any like comments you want to make on yeah. on your overall experience with it? Yeah, I mean, I oh, you know obviously this comes up a lot when you talk to different people, and um, I always say it's such a personal choice because. You know, some people want to work, some people don't want to work, some people want to work part-time, and there's no wrong or right answer. Right. Um, and I think, you know, for me, working was the right answer um, because I think it made me a better mom, too, because I think if I would have been just doing one, right. it would have been hard for me. Right. I, I actually really like working. Now, sometimes it gets to be too much, and that's right. a problem, but I think as long as there's a balance, it's good. Right. Um, so, you know, but it's, this is an age old thing. And I, I, I do think, you know, I think workplaces are trying to make it easier for women who want to work and have a family, but it's hard. It's just time, right? Like time is finite. And so you can only be one place at one time right. and there's different things that need to happen. And I actually teach, I'm an adjunct at NYU okay. and I teach undergrads and every year, the last class, I let them ask whatever question they want. Right. They, they ask all sorts of things, a lot of career related things, but every time there is a woman in the class and you know and the thing they ask is how do you balance it like it's still vexing i mean i graduated you graduated so many years ago yes, right yes it's this it's the it's age the old same thing, thing. It's the same thing and how do you balance it and how do you do it and i try to be really honest because right. you know it takes a lot of help right um both from my husband who's a great partner you know to right. do this and a true partner and also from you know we've ha we had a nanny and now we have a babysitter now that my kids are in school you right. know, full time but it just it takes you know that old it takes a village it's yes. true it takes you know a lot of people to to help and to make sure that um there's always somebody looking out for your kids right. really and you right and how also oh i left one button out how did you you know when your kids are really young i think this is a, a really hard thing or actually you tell me do you think it's harder to be at work when your kids are really young and babies or do you think it's harder when they're like entering the teenage years yeah it's interesting when I first had my son, he's 11 now, and when I went back to work, I ran into, I'll never forget, I ran into this man who used to run CBS Radio, he used to be part of our company, and he was in the lobby, and I said, yeah, it's hard to come back to work, and he said, just wait, bigger the kid, bigger the problem. And, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, yeah no, I like, you whatever, you know. But in a way, it is true. I mean, it's just different. I don't right. know if it's bigger, but, you know, you get into more emotional things and where they, they might not seem like they need you around, but they really do. Right. Um, so, you know, I'm just getting into those preteen yes, years. Yes, because you are, you're in the tween years, yeah. I guess, with one of your kids. Exactly. Yeah. And so, but I do see it changing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they're definitely more independent and mobile and able to get places. But at the end of the day, they still need their mom and dad, you right. know, and, and really to, to be there for them. Can you comment at all on any people who work at your company or in your group, or either one, that you know of who are young moms who are deciding I'm going to stay at work, ha 
have you ever had any conversations with them how that's going and and do you find the the information any different than when you went through it you know uh, yes and no i think that um again the same issues come up just how do you balance what you right. have to do with what you don't i think i think companies are some companies most companies i would hope are a little more flexible and right. understand that you know maybe you have to give a little i've noticed it in our company they're definitely more flexible with fathers okay they give more time off we just had someone in our department have a baby and you know he had four weeks paid time right. off which was different even though wow. when, from i had a child yeah 100 percent different i'm assuming yeah. i mean it's different from when i had kids and work there, but um, is there? Are they more flexible with part time or job sharing, or is that like an out of date statement? No, I think they try to be, um, and definitely I've had some flexibility, which mm -hmm. has been nice um, in terms of being able to work from home sometimes, and that does help. So even though I'm working, at least I'm physically there when my kids get home from school right. or stuff like that. So. Right. Um, so that your kids can like just scream and yell at you and say, oh, mom, exactly. today was so hard. Exactly. It was so horrible. And you're like, you don't know what hard is. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it is true. But I, but I think it's good for kids to see both their parents working and right. like, what that really means mm -hmm. and what the demands are and not. And, right. you know, what goes along with that. Right. I think that's a good lesson. Cheryl, thank you so thank much you. for coming here today. And cheers to you. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> it was so fun having you come on. Thank you. And I had to have a sip of that. So my friend made these oh cute cooler cookies. So you can so eat nice. one now, take it with I'm you. I'm going to take it with me and, for dessert. Okay. And thank your kids you. might want one. Yeah. So you might want to order some. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh, and Cheryl, not that I know you probably don't want people to find you. <laughs> yeah. But is there any type of social media that if anyone wanted to contact you, like if you were on Twitter or something like that? Um, or LinkedIn, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm on LinkedIn. And, um, you know, I used to do Family Faves, the blog, just recommending yes. different things. And well, I was going to mention that, but yes, anyway. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start that back up on Instagram. So check out oh, um, cool. family underscore faves. Um, F A V S. Yes. Okay. Yep. We will. Yeah. Cheryl, thanks Thank so much. You. Okay, hon. So bye. Nice seeing you. It was good to bye. see you too. Okay, I'm bye. Take my yeah. Drink. Take sure. your drink, please. Okay, so um, thanks, Cheryl. And I, I don't know if I've already thanked Chantel. I know she went to be on their show, but thank her too for coming. Um, so my next guests are also Broadway people, which this is so exciting to me. Um, there's nothing like having actors and singers and dancers, whether they think they are or not, um, who are working be on my show and get to chat with me. Um, so our next, um, I hear that cute music in the background. Oh, I see why I hear it. Okay. So our, um, so Megan, I'm going to have to ask her to say her name when she comes over here, her last name, but, um, and her husband, um, Barrett Martin. So come on, you guys. Woo! Hey, cheers! Cheers! Oh, I'm so glad. Did you want to drink? We're going to share. Okay. We'll share. Yeah. But I'll give you a hug. <laughs> okay. And let me give you a hug, Megan. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. So, I have to say, it was so great of you guys to come on my show. I know you had family in Chicago and you just kind of came in earlier today. So, thank you so much for no showing up. What, um, so before, before I get into, I have a little fun game I'm going to play with you guys. But okay. Before, <laughs> before I get into it, yeah, and please, enjoy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> before I get into it, what, uh, could you just tell me a little bit about how you met and was it in, through the theater? We met doing Wicked. Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah. Wicked is literally... And probably most people's like no favorite offense, show Chantel, ever. yeah. But literally one of my most favorite Broadway shows. Yeah. And um, tell me a little bit about Wicked. What happened? <laughs> what went on? I, um, I had done a previous production of uh, I opened the show the show in Chicago. With okay. A company, you know, that they opened there. And you're from Chicago. I, and yeah, right, so okay, it was so kind of was nice cool. for me, you right. know, being from Chicago to open the show in Chicago. Right. Um, and uh, Megan was. I was doing the show here. Doing the show here, and then uh, and you and you were so you were each doing Wicked. Yeah, and, and then, you, Megan was on Broadway, and yeah. you were in Chicago. Yeah. Okay, go. And then um, <laughs> I was at one point I was asked to come in to cover a medical leave. Right. So somebody was injured and taking time off, and they brought me in. Oh, and to they flew you to New York. York. Okay. And I was I was actually back in New York at that point, but okay. yeah, um, I came in. Yeah, he came in. How long? Like 
It was just a few weeks. Yeah, it was only a six week or eight week contract. Right. You know, but yeah. I, so I actually, weirdly enough, had taken a leave of absence to go do the out of town tryout of Curtains, the okay. musical. Okay. And when I came back, Barrett was there filling in for one of my dance partners right. in the show. And uh, I was like, who is this guy? What's yeah. happening here? Right. And uh, so I actually, we, had, we got to actually rehearse together because right. I had to re rehearse and to you come had, back you into didn't the show. We know each other yet. Right. Never like, met. Okay. Um, I was actually getting out of another relationship, okay. so like there was a little flirty, but then I was like, you need to stand over there for a minute while I figure this out. <laughs> but then I actually got shipped to Chicago to stand by for Glinda oh, while wow. he finished out his yeah. contract in New York. Oh my god! So we only actually worked together for a few weeks. Right, okay. Yeah. That's really funny. So it was really like love at first sight, so to speak. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, we'll just call much. it that. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. And I think your son is here. Yeah, he's he over there. So cute. Hopefully being a good boy. He is. He's like not even paying attention. That's how good he's being. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, so also, how did you, are you guys, how did you both come to Broadway and or in Chicago to being in musicals and musical theater? I grew up dancing uh, in a dance studio uh -huh. just since I was three and a half years old. Started tapping. I got involved in theater as a kid. Um, I did productions in Chicago right. as a kid, and he I commercials. He was a child yeah, actor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, a little wait, bit of child so you didn't tell me we could show one of your commercials? <laughs> yeah, well, if you could find it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we, I, I ended up uh, on tour with Footloose, okay, the musical. Love that show. And that was kind of my first big equity, you know, touring Broadway show. Right. Um, and then after that, I, I found myself coming to New York, and right. I did some more tours, and just done a bunch of musicals since then. Right. Oh, that's that is great. And ha yeah. and how about Megan? You still didn't tell me your last name. Sakura. Sakura. Okay, so I apologize, Sakura. All right. And by the way, I'm such a bad speller, so it doesn't even matter like how I write. I can't, still can't pronounce it. I mean, I can only pronounce it by you okay. telling it to me. Yeah. Um. So how did you come to the? Well, I wish theater? I had Chantel's story because wow, that was crazy. I, story. I was. I What's did not I'm have saying? that experience at all. Right. Um, yeah. I worked my ass <laughs> off my whole life and still came here and was like, please give me a job, please. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I grew up dancing as well, and um, I went to Point Park University. Mm -hmm. I was a dance major there. Okay. And I came here and just pounded the pavement for a long time. I did the Radio City Christmas show. I was oh, dancing wow. bear for two wow. years. That, so you had a costume on? Oh, 30 pound bear yeah. costume and point shoes at 9 a.m. Wow, yeah. that is rough. Yeah. Yeah, that's If you ever hard. go see the Rockettes, don't okay. forget to clap for the ensemble because okay. they are working their butts off. Okay. Yeah, um, well. And while he was on tour with, with Footloose, I was actually selling programs and t-shirts outside the Broadway theater. Oh my God. You the Broadway really show dedicated. Footloose because I couldn't get a job. Right. You are really, <laughs> you're a real dedicated musical theater person. Well, <laughs> I just know what I'm meant to do. Right. And I had to work hard to get there. Right. Yeah. But I've done nine Broadway shows since then. So that's I, awesome. I'm doing okay. That's really exciting. Yeah. So I have a, a fun game to play with you guys. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know how you'll do at it, but it's kind of like a newlywed game. Okay. And um, I mean, I don't know how you'll do it. She'll win. I, so, I doubt so it. So we'll see. We'll she see. hates games and she wins. She doesn't like to play games, but she wins. Yeah, That's it's, it's it, always yeah. those kind of people. Yeah. Like, they might have to struggle to be in a Broadway show, but when it comes to playing a game, it's like, you know, piece <sighs> of cake, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, I don't, I, I don't no, know. My brain is just filled with, like, Thomas the Train. And, <laughs> right. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so, wait, I didn't even ask you. Is your son thinking of being an actor? Or are you I guys? don't know. No. Elliot, do you want to be an actor? <laughs> no. No. He's not, no. He's like, I'll leave that up to you two. And... Okay, so um, Megan, you're going to be the black, and Barrett, you'll be the red. Okay. okay. Okay, and we'll see whoever gets to maybe two or three first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, so my first question is, each of you, wait, all right, so Megan, you'll go first. Okay. But Barrett, you'll either have to confirm that that is exactly how it happened. Okay. Or, and if it is, you know, it, what, whichever one of you gets it right, According to both of you, uh, that person gets a point. Okay. okay. Okay, you kind of just told us a story. But, uh, Megan, how did you first meet? How did we first yeah. meet? And you can tell it, like, really fast because you kind of just told it to us. Well, I walked into the green room at Wicked, and he was sitting on the couch, and I said hi, and he just kind of sat there and was really, really quiet. 
Okay, so Barrett was that correct? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, you guys are really compatible, that's, that's so you correct. each get a point. Oh, oh right. yay! I like how that works. I like we have ten. <laughs> <laughs> so it's ten points. I had ten other... points each. It's I clearly great. had Lindsay. I clearly had way too much to drink. Thank you very much. Okay. I gave you that little two ounce heavy pour. Right. Yeah. That was yes. That was great. That's Thank you. Um, okay. I got that right. Um, all right. So now I'm gonna have give you a question that you haven't like discussed with me. Okay. Who um, does the most parenting of your son? I'll start with Barrett. Uh, I'd say it's pretty equal. It depends on work schedule. Um, you know, it depends on what's going on in our lives. But if it kind of tends to flow back and forth, um, and if we're both around, it's you know a little bit of both on hands at the same time. And and sometimes like, okay, it's my turn to take a break. Now it's your turn to take a break. And Megan, would you agree? Absolutely. Oh my God, you guys are like the perfect <laughs> couple. This is. Cr Other way. Thank you. This is really. She would tell you really, if I was, She I'm would lying. tell you if I was lying. She she would. Would. I, would. Like, I would. No, I feel but like, we like we definitely. So far, we're. we're but we done. just we also believe that if you're going to be two people having a child, then both people are equally responsible for that child, and one person should not be the parent. Right. Right. And the other person just like is there for support. Like right. you're both in it. Yes. So that's, I, how, that's how that's how we healthy. chose to do it. Okay. And one of us like. I'm better at certain things, and he's better at other things. Right. So we kind of like volley back and forth. That's very, very nice. So far, you're like that in a thousand. <laughs> we, need. Right, got <laughs> we got this. Okay. All right. So my last question is: I have to think of something. Make it a good one. Go that for is it. Really, really, yeah. um, kind of obscure. Who, who does laundry in your house? That was an easy one, right? Yeah, it was. Okay, yeah. I don't like yeah. another one. Yeah. yeah. I am very impressed. What a good mate you met. <laughs> well, <laughs> she cooks like practically every meal. He would never right. eat if I didn't. I would, okay. Yeah. Right. But I would never have clean clothes. Exactly. So. Yeah. All right, so I've really <laughs> determined, based on discussing this with you two, that you are 100% compatible. Okay. And uh, Thank I'm you. just giving you both threes. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. And, and that is very unusual because my husband and I, I, one of us would have lost, okay. <laughs> depending on the question. <laughs> and I don't know if he ever watches my show, but <laughs> but he always goes, "Have a good show." Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Ask who's better at communicating. Oh, then we're going on to number four. Okay, who's better? Well, you just who's give her, the, just give her the point. Just give her okay, the point. Just give it to her. <laughs> there you who's go. You asked at, it. <laughs> who's better at communicating? You really me. Yeah. Yeah. See, but you both agree on everything. So oh. that we both win. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't really, I, you know. You know your faults. Yeah, sure. I don't really know mine. Sure you do. <laughs> you know, we disagree. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Woo. Get that. Um, I'm very happy you to hear you disagree. Um, <laughs> so I don't know in my bag of tricks if I have a present for you. And that is a big cooler. Yes, it Maybe. is. Sometimes, Impressive. sometimes a body comes out of it. Oh boy! So you have to really be careful. Yes, yeah. Igloo um, sponsored it and sent it to me, so it was very kind of them. Gorgeous. And um, yeah, and it's you know just like a fun little, fun little sidekick. Put like yeah. a whole pig in Instead there. Instead of a person that I have to rely on, I just rely on the cooler. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's good. Perfect. So, <laughs> you guys, I'm so happy that you came in and joined Thank me today. Thank you for today. having us. Mm -hmm. And is there anything that you, um, you know, upcoming projects that you want people, audi the audience, to know that you're going to be in, or, or you, I know a lot of times with actors you don't kind of yeah. Don't say we have anything. we have like a lot of things in the works. Okay. Yeah. I, I filmed a movie called The Bleeder that should be coming out sometime next year. Oh, wow. Um, starring Liev Schreiber. Oh, that's that exciting. Cool. That is yeah. really cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've, for that. There's a couple uh, great projects that hopefully will be coming to the Broadway stage. Right. You know, like uh, things that that have been done before, but are are being you know thought of. Like uh, King Kong is a you know a very oh, yes, popular I think I've show. It's that. it's okay. in the works and. You know, I may I've been part of it in the past, and right. may or may not be a part of it in the future. But, <laughs> right. You know, that's kind of you know we develop shows all the time. So I've definitely been busy developing some new new things. And do you got do you like to partake in the development of shows, or it sounds like you might? We be do. Interested. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, it is a great experience to uh, you know be a part of something that 
Um, another one I've been a part of, um, they've been trying to get Bull Durham. The, okay. The oh, yes, I've been I think trying to do I've a stage adaptation okay. of that. Uh -huh. And, you know, it's it's been a blast to work with people on making it, right. you know, a new piece of artwork for the stage versus right. the, you know, film. And you're working with the original film director or, right. you know, working with new uh, a new composer and being a part of that. Right. You know, being a part is, of something from the ground up. is exciting. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I do like starting things from the ground up. So yeah. I know I know exactly yeah. what you mean. <laughs> like uh, working on the show. But yeah. I um I have to ask you because it is like all the rage. Have you seen Hamilton? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We you went have... on Valentine's Day. Did you just get tickets? We know people. You, you know, know people. Yeah. Oh, I just found my new best friend. Yeah. It wasn't easy. Oh, we paid we for on, it, but we, we, we know paid, we know people. But we we know people, and we were on stand like we were on a standby list. Like wow. I wasn't confirmed. The tickets were confirmed for right. maybe two days before. Oh my gosh. Maybe three days before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, and we had planned Elliot's birthday party for that morning. And you're like, sorry, so, hon, and then, so canceled. we were No, we were like, okay, everybody can come, but you have to be out the door by one because we're going to see Hamilton. Yeah. That and everybody is, understood and was right, like, okay, I'll like, yeah. Absolutely, I get it. So I had a friend come visit over the holidays, and she lives in Florida. Talk about, like, I, I mean, maybe today it's different, but talk about when you don't live in New York. We, she's like, let's go see a show. And I'm like, great, let's try to get tickets for Hamilton. She goes, what's Hamilton? So I was like, oh my God, people who don't live in New York, like mm -hmm. they literally live under a rock. And my friend is a Broadway lover, loves to go yeah. to show, the whole thing. Obviously now she knows of They it, just performed at the White House on I know, Monday, so that's why I said, so obviously, I feel like she must should know be getting out now. there, right. yeah. No, yeah. It's, it's very exciting. Yeah. Um, so thank you guys. Do you have any social media that you want anyone to check you out on? I'm on or Twitter and Instagram. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My name, Megan Scora. Okay. And tw yeah, same Twitter, uh, Barrett Martin, except Martin without any vowels. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'll, you can find it. You know, you'll find it. Um, right. And, and Instagram, I believe. Okay. Yeah. And I have... Um, I was telling you guys, you might have heard my friends who, yeah. uh, who makes yeah. uh, logoed cookies, and Super I had her make some cooler ones. You can take the box well, and you can share it with you. Elliot if oh, you'd rather. Yeah. Elliot's going to get my cookie because okay. I'm a vegan. Oh, okay, and those are probably not vegan. No, cookies. but they look great. Yeah. I'm not. I'll be eating one. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Megan and Barrett, thank you so much thank for you. coming on, and I was so happy to have you guys stop by you. today. It was great to meet you. Good great luck with you. everything. Yep. Great to meet you, and I can't wait to um, talk to you off camera and find out how to get Hamilton tickets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you so much, and I, I just want to thank all of my guests today for being here in Plush Bartending. Thank you again for making these delicious drinks and um, Lindsay. And um, I also want to thank everyone for being here today and watching. And if you want to follow me on any social media, you can go to um, at Rebecca Berman TV on Twitter, uh, Instagram Rebecca.Berman or Facebook Rebecca Berman. And um, my website is RebeccaBermanTV.com. And thank you again, everyone, for coming and watching the show today. Mwah! Love ya.